back here, I'm actually making a mount today for the GoPro camera. I'm putting some uh, part all on here so I can lay up the fiberglass part without it sticking. Now my vertical fin here is a little different than the <clears throat> KR2 plans. I actually have uh, three pieces of three ply plywood glued together and then they're about three inches wide and they come all the way up here and end in the rudder post so there's a slot cut in the rudder post with uh, that plywood piece slid into that and glued so i drilled a quarter inch hole here that's going to retain this thing so i'm about halfway through that three inch piece and here i just made this uh, it's a roll pin welded to a quarter inch bolt welded to a washer so that is actually going to become part of this piece and it will sit right here like this so the camera will actually be up here another inch or two and this is going to be kind of a shark <clears throat> shark fin look to it because i'm going to put a support made out of foam and glass that's going to come up to about here and the reason for that is uh, i've seen some vibration in the camera so the plan is to take this mount and put it It'll sit right about there. So I want to have something for this camera mount to kind of lean back against. Because at 150 miles an hour, this thing's going to gonna kind of want to shake all over the place. So, all right. So this is uh, just polyester resin, since this is a temporary piece that comes on and off the airplane as I need to use it. No use messing around with the more expensive vinyl ester. So we're just gonna all right. That'll get us started. Alright, so here's our shark fin. I got just a pinch of flux in here just to give it a little bit of structural integrity here. Wet out the bottom of this foam. And we'll go back and mix, <clears throat> put some more flocks in it.
Okay, so here's the uh, almost finished product. <clears throat> I filled in the underneath the mount where the screw is with some uh, chop strand uh, fiberglass, like quarter inch strands. Filled it all in under there and put in one layer of micro balloon, which I've sanded down. I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of automotive body putty. But we'll see if this thing fits. Right there. Time to show you the finished product. So, time to go out and try it out.